I'm Chelsea Mosby and I'm in class of 2024. Okay, so growing up, I was the only child. I still am the only child, so a lot of the times, a lot of people think I was probably really lonely, um, but I definitely spent a lot of time with my cousins, and also I bonded with my parents a lot growing up just for the simple fact that I was the only child they had to take care of. Outside of school, my biggest role model would definitely be my mom. Um, she, like her, the way that she carried herself when she was my age just promotes, like not promotes, but it, it shows me how I want to be. Um, it helps me kind of, it gives me a guide in life just because I feel like she's lived her life in a really good and positive way. She has a really great mindset and it's just, she's a very good role model. She sticks up for me, I stick up for her. That's my girl. Um, so throughout my high school career, I've been involved in basketball cheer for three out of the four years that I've been in high school. Um, just for the simple fact that freshman year we were, you know, COVID and hybrid and everything. So it's just a little difficult to be involved in things. But for the most part, I've just done cheer. What I will miss most about high school will definitely be um, just being able to see everybody's face every day. Like, you know, having friends, it's kind of harder to get together outside of school. So I feel like school really brings people together because we have no choice but to be here. My most memorable moment in high school would definitely be going to state with the girls and boys basketball team. Um, it's just a really elevating experience. Like, it's so much fun, you know, being able to support your team and just really celebrate and make memory, make history. And after high school, I plan on attending University of Memphis this fall, and I'm going to major in nursing. So as a child, I definitely did not think I was going to be a nurse growing up. Um, when I was younger, I was a lot, very, very interested in dance, so I felt like my career path would do something with dance or singing, even though I can't really sing, but something being some type of star or on somebody's television screen, something of that sort. Um, but now I feel like being older, I'm in the more nurturing era of my life, so that is why I'm more leaning towards nursing rather than, you know, the dancing and things like that. Um, somebody that I definitely look up to at Bartlett is Miss Gibson. Um, she's the cheer sponsor for basketball cheer, and I admire her just for the simple fact that she's been doing, you know, sponsoring for a really long time, and she keeps everything very organized. And without her, we would not have a team at all. She puts in a lot of work because, if you know, it's very hard dealing with several girls with attitudes and mood swings. So, props to her for doing it for so long and just being able to give us like the opportunity to have fun and cheer and all that. The advice that I have for the underclassmen is just simply getting involved in things in school um, for the simple fact that you only have four years and they go by so fast. And I mean, imagine growing up and having kids and you don't have any fun memories to tell them about the things you were involved in and the memories you made in high school. I feel like that's very boring. Like I would want my kids to know that I was very fun. You know, their mom was, very lit, you know, she had all the fun in the world. So I feel like it's very important to surround yourself around, you know, positive people and involve yourself in things because it creates opportunities that you wouldn't get if you were not involved in certain activities and clubs. Stay focused, um, but also have fun. You know, don't be so consumed and you know, trying to make sure everything is perfect because nothing's ever gonna be perfect. Um, so just stay focused, have fun, make friends, make memories, and just enjoy the time you have with everyone.